everyone! Today I have a big Target haul. It's actually a couple of hauls, all from Target, combined together, a consolidated, and I actually have a million billion hauls to share with you guys and like, you don't even want to see what's going on around me. I know what you can see here in the frame looks normal, but my life is not normal. I have like so much stuff and it's kind of just, I kind of leave it out because I don't want to put it away because I feel like I'm going to forget and I'm not going to get to do a video about it and I was on vacation and I know I keep complaining about that and I shouldn't be complaining about it, but anyway, I'm finally doing Target because Target is an important part of my life. I just recently got a Target card and let me stop you before you comment and warn me about nightmares and tragedies. I already know. People told me on Twitter and Facebook things to look out for with the whole Target debit card. I'm looking out for it, but I can't say no to those savings. You get like some percent off every single time you shop and I cannot say no to that. I love Target. You know this if you've seen my channel for any length of time. I love it. Big Target haul. Let's do it now. <laughs> Okay, I have like a bunch of random stuff in one bag and I have a bunch of clothes in another one. So, okay, let's just do the clothes first because random stuff goes at the end. Like the random stuff is supposed to. Actually, there's some random stuff in here too. Haha, <laughs> oh well. I feel like I have like, st I've taken some stuff out and I don't remember because I have worn a couple of these things already. We'll go ahead with the first most important thing, new bathing suit. I got this right before I went on vacation. Just out of nowhere, I was just like, I want a bathing suit. I want to go to Target and try on their bathing suits. And I was kind of determined to find one. And bathing suit shopping is difficult. If you're a girl, you know this. And you're probably a girl if you're watching this. I'm not judging. I found this one. It was the one that looked best on me. And I'll show you what it looks like. I actually wore this while I was on vacation. I posted an Instagram picture. My sister and I were standing on the beach. The beach is gorgeous and beautiful. And a lot of people were like, oh, I think I saw that on Target. Yes, you did. This is a great, great, great bikini. I love it. It's got these little ruffles. It's got all these, like, crazy colors. Reminds me of Sesame Street in the 70s. I like that. This is one of my new favorites. Um, I did get another bikini while I was on vacation. And I really like that one, too. But I'll show you that one at another time. Okay, so next up... This one has a fuzz on it. I got these little shorts. They were on sale. They are like neon, neon pink. And I don't know. I don't think my camera is like white balance adjusting for these at all. These are like the most neon pink you can imagine. They're just little like soft, like comfy shorts. You could wear over your bathing suit. You could wear them to bed. You could wear them around the house. But they're pretty short. You might not want to wear them to the mall. But you can do whatever you want because I'm not going to judge you. It's got a little peace sign, which I think is cute. Kind of reminds me of like the whole wild fox couture kind of look, which I like. $5, I was very happy about that. So, I was so happy about that. I got two pairs. And this one has fuzz on it too because they're in my suitcase. And these are bright, 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 bright yellow. And I think it is picking it up, luckily. And this one has just like some hearts on it, which is cute and fun and girly and sweet. The next boring thing I got was this little t-shirt. It's called a boyfriend tee, which I think I got the wrong thing because I don't like boyfriend fit anything. I like, I'm, I'm not going to say skin tied, but I like fitted things. I like woman shapes. I mean, come on. Am I crazy? Is that weird to say out loud? I don't know. I like, I mean, you saw what I'm wearing right now. This is the kind of thing that I gravitate to, but it looks comfy. It was on sale. I actually have a kind of loose fitting shirt. I don't think it was like a boyfriend. It's a purple shirt from Target and I think it's Mossimo. There's no tag. They're just really comfortable to throw on on like the days you don't really want to get ready. White t-shirt. I love white t-shirts. Um, I didn't try it on, so I don't know. I don't know. Next up, I'm going to have to stand up to show you this one. Oh, that's actually the back. It is, it looks like a tiny little mini skirt with pleats, which is awesome in itself. But you know what? It's not a skirt. It's actually, can you even see? It, it's like shorts. And you know what we call these in my family? Culottes. Do you know that term? I don't think it's a new term. I think it's an actual term for things, but I don't know if they use that term anymore. But we call these culottes, and these are like little mini short short culottes, and there's like elastic in the back, so they're really like fitted, and they're really short, and they look really cute. I haven't figured out what I can wear them with yet. Obviously, there's a tag on it. I haven't worn them yet, um, but it comes like to here. I can't get on my tippy toes enough to show you. Get out of the way, please. 
See, it's like really short. I think it'd be cute with just, I don't even know. It's Wrinkle City right now, which I'm kind of concerned about. I want a steamer. Does anyone have one? I don't know, I thought this was really cute. It could like complement some like bronzed legs, if you know what I'm talking about. So that's cute, Culotte City. Next up, we have this skirt which is the skirt of my life. I have been needing a like proper peplum piece so much. The whole peplum revival started. So I needed this so badly. It was not expensive. I like the fabric. It's not gonna fade. It's kind of that like plasticky material, not plasticky, but maybe you know what I mean. And it's not too short. I love that. It's got a nice, cute, peplum I'm in love with it fits really nicely and it's got the exposed zipper and the peplum goes all the way around I love this skirt I can't wait to wear it I haven't worn it yet do you love it because I love it let's love it together hopefully I'll put this in an outfit of the day or something and show you how I work it okay okay so the random stuff that I have in here I got these earrings um there's no title or anything it was like $7.99 that's the title I'm probably gonna have to paint the posts with some clear nail polish or something because my ears are like allergic to everything and like I always get my earrings at like Claire's or the icing or whatever and I get the ones that are like sensitive solutions or whatever because my ears if I put anything that's just like random like not for sensitive ears or not like a sterling silver or gold or whatever it starts like itching and it turns red and it's really really uncomfortable and I just can't do it but every once in a while I will be an idiot and buy something like this and and just pray and hope and cross my fingers and toes and everything and hope that it won't irritate my ears but it probably will so I don't know but they're so cute right I love that kind of carnival glass look I love these arrowhead guys and the studs and I don't know this is very cute to me okay next up a little hoarder moment I think I got a deal on these I'm not really sure though I'm not promising anything sorry I had to scoot up these are some of the Sally Hansen salon effects real nail polish strips I'm sure you've heard of these they're nothing new they work really well I've been using them for not a whole year probably I started to use them last fall I don't use them a whole lot or anything because they're like ten dollars a pack or whatever and you know they do last a good while I always do like a top coat over them when I use them I don't know what made me splurge on these but I really like all three of these designs first off I got the mod about you print let me show you up close that's how that looks I'm really excited to wear that one next there is hear me roar and that's kind of like a blue leopard very cute so pebbles and bam bam awesome <laughs> okay this one is vine and dine and it makes me think about like a 60s pixie kind of like a rosemary's baby's wallpaper in the 60s like glittery ugly flowers so i'm really excited about those okay okay let's go to the next bag all right so this is the random i am a hoarder and i buy crap that i don't need bag just to start that out very appropriately dollar spot time a lot of this stuff is dollar spot stuff gel clings and they're like all fourth of july crazy i love america stuff these are for my car i will probably leave them on for like a year i had some on my car that i wrecked not my fault by the way that got wrecked, got totaled in an accident, not last year, but the year before. But they were Valentine's ones and it was like birds and hearts and it was great and I had them like all over the front and the back and I loved them so much. But yeah, here's these, I like this. I have like a white car so it's gonna be great and I gotta put them on really soon because, because I need to. If you're patriotic, you need to act now, so. Yeah. <laughs> well, staying on the patriotic kick, I got these two also from the dollar spot, so they're only a dollar. And they're just some like super cool, super fun glasses that look like this. I don't know why I needed that accent. It's like my librarian accent. Okay. Oh, uh, there's that. Very cute. Pretty major. These are for a specific purpose, I promise. Okay, I got another pair of glasses. These are not silly. I mean, they're kind of silly. They're kind of my little Lolita ones, but kind of not. Yes, I'm sure you're gonna notice they're crooked. I have crooked face and ears, and I just rock it because that's my only option. Hard sunglasses, very cute. These were just like in the normal section, not the dollar spot, so. 
I'm in love. Very, very cute. Can I tell you a hundred times? Cause I'm going to anyway. Okay, these two things also from the dollar spot. I don't know Lush products. You know how they, they, they don't always have like proper packaging. Put them in here, maybe just even for travel or whatever, like the tan thing I showed you in my last Lush haul. So yeah, I've got these little tins. I'm always buying like little boxes and little bags and they have no purpose, but I like to have them. Like I buy all these things to be organized and then they just stack up and I have problems. Problems, okay. Speaking of random bags, here's these. They are like made out of nothing. They're gonna fall apart in 10 seconds, but they're just like little envelope-y type of bags. I don't know, but they're cute. They're cute little, I don't even wanna talk about them because I don't know why I bought them. So yeah, okay. So here's this. I already busted this out of the package, but I actually haven't used it. So I can't really say if it's good or not officially yet, but it is the e.l.f. Studio Lip Primer and Plumper. Um, it's in clear and natural. So one side is the plump side, and it looks like that. It's just like a clear kind of glossy looking lipstick, and it smells and tastes like cinnamon. So that's what plumps it up. So if you're scared of like the whole spicy tingle to plump your lips, I think you won't like it. I'm fine with it. Um, and this is the prime side, and I've never used the prime side at all. Ooh, so it's kind of like a yellowy sort of, almost like if you just put concealer on your lips. And I never do that. I'm not sure if I'm missing out on something there, but I sure will try this. So interesting. I don't know what got into me, but it was probably really cheap. So okay, the last thing I have in here, the last thing at all, I feel like I did that really fast. Are you proud of me? You should be so proud of me right now. Goody double wear head wrap and necklace two in one. Um, funny story about this, people had like tweeted me, sent me pictures and stuff like that. Like, oh Leanne, uh, at Target, they have these dupes for the twist bands. Like dupes, like they look like the exact same thing, but they're way less like costly. So I went looking for that and I couldn't find them. I might've seen like the display, like where they were supposed to go, but they were all sold out. So totally missed out on that. But maybe I can find them online. I did not think about that until just now, cause I'm a genius. <laughs> Google it, Leanne. Okay, so I haven't tried them. Maybe we'll try them right now. If you'll see, it kind of looks like, what's her name? I know it's not Samantha. You know, the little prissy preppy girl from Sex in the City. Kind of looks like her. Maybe that was her job that she went to after. I want to see how they work. So we are going to pry them out of there. Oh, it's not going to work. I have to get scissors. The Barbie. When you're little and you can't get it out fast enough. Your little fingers, they're not working fast enough. And your mom won't give you the scissors. I'm just kidding. My mom always gave me the scissors. I'm going to choose the silver one because I like silver. We'll try it as a necklace. We'll get this necklace out of the way. That's all right. I don't think I look as cute as her. Hers look like they're tighter. Like, I like a necklace that sits, you know, high. I mean, I know I'm wearing that other one that's long, but if it's going to be one that's like, you know, right up here in the chest zone, like, chest zone, I don't know. <laughs> I want it to be a little higher. That's so terrible that they did that to me. But anyway, that's all right. That looks good to me. Um, and let's see how it looks as a headband. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord, save me. Ugh. My hair is stuck in my earring, and it's creating conflict. Start over. Start over. Why can't I just do something seamlessly? Okay. Ow! Oh, this is way harder than I thought it was gonna be. I never learned how to put on a headband as a child. Oh my gosh, you guys. Why can I not do this? Okay, maybe my head is bigger than the average girl, but like the little silver part is like very understated on me. What do y'all think? No big deal, right? That's kind of cute. Let's try the gold one. Okay, that's not going in straight. I think it would help a lot if I like started with like a ponytail or something. Okay, so that's how that looks. Not really as cute on me as it is on what's her face. It's also really squeezing my brain. <laughs> so I'm gonna take it off for now. And maybe never put them on again, unless I'm gonna wear them as a necklace. I don't know. <laughs> That schools my brain a lot. I don't know how I could stretch these out, but I should try to figure it out, so I don't know. That's everything I got from Target. I hope you enjoyed it. I love Target. If you love Target too, you can tell me about it down below if you want. If you have any comments or questions or whatever you have to say, you can say it 
down below in the comments and you can also like me on Facebook I'll really appreciate it if you did it's facebook.com slash Leanne says you can also join me on Twitter it's at Leanne says um, I'm always there and always blabbing about whatever don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you'll catch all my future videos and as always thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time bye everyone um, now that I screwed up my hair mm -hmm. I'm a mess now. What's the like prude girl? Did I just say that? I'm sorry. Uh -huh. I might be adding myself as ignorant, but I'm not sure. What is up? I'm like over highlighted right now. It happens. Well, this has a, a long hair on it. Okay. Chantal.